hope and deep wisdom. Good news. Good news and how to navigate these times of tumult. Yes. Things are turned upside down. There is no central vantage point of the normal or center because everything is being uprooted so that new seeds can be sown. And you provide such just beautiful imagery and stories that back all of this up. I mean, we travel on an epic journey through the past, present, and future as you've embodied it. If I could just say something about the planting of new seeds, it's not just that we're in the process of planting new seeds. Mm -hmm. It's that we're becoming new soil. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Yes. It's a whole different kind of paradigm. Mm -hmm. And that's what's needed. Humanity is ready. Humanity has made a choice. And that's the process that's underway. But that means that everything gets tilled up. Mm-hmm. All of the old soil gets tilled up. Everything gets released. All the roots mm-hmm. of all of those old things get released. And the fertilizer is love. <laughs> the soil itself is love. So is the soil. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. It's all love. The seeds are love. The soil is love. The fertilizer is love. What blooms is love. Mm. Well, in the first part, when we talk about where we've been and this old soil, you say we have to seek the truth of what has been operating in the world we created in fear before we can harness the full scale of our divine power to create a world in love. And so let's talk about the old soil that's being turned over. How do we need to look at our past where we've been individually and collectively? Part of the reason why we need to see it is because if we don't, then we don't really change the patterns. Mm -hmm. We don't really take responsibility for that which needs to change, that which is outdated now. And all of that is related to this sort of fundamental belief that we're separate from our creator, from Mm -hmm. that which gives us life experience itself. So we live in a separation consciousness that believes we're separate from everything. And all of that is based in fear. Mm-hmm. So we have all of these paradigms of our world that are built in foundations of fear. And so when even when we look at our own life, when we look at very big decisions that have to be made, we can always see that there's an element of fear that's present, that we're going to need to think about, are we safe? Are we secure? There's an idea of lack, uh, you know, and so constantly needing to frame our world in terms of fear. And that ideology, the origins of that ideology are one of the key things that is now releasing. And so as we release that, we begin to see all the ways that actually we're not so separate. We begin to see our impact on others and the world and the world that we create as we evolve in our own thinking. Mm -hmm. 